the internet is a very dangerous place. Today I stumbled upon a very dirty piece of code that I've copy pasted slightly modified into this class. You can see the snippet here. Whenever I see this kind of code, my brain just stops working. It has some negations going on, an OR operator, and many brackets. In this video, I'd like to show you how we refactor such code. The first thing I tend to do with this kind of code is try to understand it by creating some tests. And I've already prepared a test class here. So we are going to test if the order can ship. If we take a look back at the function itself, we see that whether we can ship is determined by the shipping country and by the status. So let's create a few tests. So I've already created an order factory, which can create an order and it takes on the shipping country and the status. Let's guess that for Belgium and a status valid, maybe we can ship, maybe we cannot, we'll find out. So we are going to assert first that this is true. And let's run this test. And sure enough, it returns green. So my interpretation was correct. If I do anything else here and I rerun the test, then it is false. Let's bring it back to green. Let's make a few other assumptions. So if the status would be invalid, maybe the code would return false. Okay, so that's good. And then for, let's take a look at the code for Great Britain. It doesn't matter which, sta which status it is. So for valid and for invalid, it should be false and it is. And let's add some, maybe some special cases just to be sure. Let's remove it, this and use some empty strings. And we are going to determine that it is false. Let's rerun the tests. And sure enough, all my tests pass. So with this test in place, I have a safety net for refactoring the code. And to keep it simple, I'm going to assume that all of the countries in the database are just two letter codes and that we only have a valid and invalid status. So let's get back to the code and start our refactor. Now, the first thing that I like to do is to move this code in its own dedicated function away from the shipping itself. So I'm going to add a code here that isn't visible for the outside world. Protected function can ship, which will return a Boolean and we will move this entire check to that code and I can just return it. Let me clean this up a little. Maybe forgot a bracket. Yep, that's it. And now I think I can just use this can ship here and my test should still pass and they do. So this refactor is a good one. Let me make this slightly smaller. So in this simple example, the ship work is just being represented by a return of a Boolean, but probably in a real world situation, some work is being performed here. Some work being performed. Now, what I always tend to do in functions is that at the top of the function, we are going to filter out the special cases and do the real work at the bottom of the function. So we are going to reverse the condition. If we can ship, we are going to return false. And if we can ship, we are going to perform the work here. Let me take care of some layout stuff and rerun the tests and they are still green. So this refactor is successful. Now let's take a look at that can ship method because that one is still very unreadable. So here I'm going to do the same thing. 
I'm going to put my successful result as the last line of the function. So here I'm going to return true. I'm going to put this in comments and I'm going to filter out all the cases I don't want to return true anymore. And from my tests, I know that this is the case if the shipping country is Great Britain and I'm going to use strict comparison here. Then I'm going to return false. And here I'm going to return false if the status is not valid. Let's rerun the tests and we are still on green and I can remove this line. And to my eyes, this is much cleaner and much more understandable. If you take a look at the source code of MailCoach, you'll see that we use this pattern a lot. You'll see helper methods that determine whether certain things should or can happen. And in those functions, we have very simple checks that use early returns, which makes the entire function very readable.